We're almost ready to go. This is how they're lining up. I'm just looking where the set is starting. Christensen starting at four for the USA. And uh, Rizard starting at six. Interesting. We'll see how that pans out as the match goes on. Yuri Mokri is the first referee, very experienced referee in charge of this one. Uh, Vladimir Simonovic, the second referee. And you'll see Gene uh, Jenny Gravenikov and Michael Christensen wearing the uh, equal jerseys. I'll talk to you about that in just a second. But before all that, I hope that wherever you're watching, whatever you're watching on, you're ready. The players are ready. The fans here are ready. Salima and I are ready. This one is about to get going. France in blue serving, the USA in white and blue receiving. This is the gold medal match from the Men's Volleyball Nations League for 2022. And a nice, easy start for the USA. Russell now back to the serving line. Good take by Cleveno. And somehow that just creeps under Jendrick. We talked from the beginning just how that serve receive has served both teams so well, getting the middles involved early and often. That's going to be important for France, certainly to open things up on the pins. Nice ball in. Oh, that's a great block for France. TJ DeFalco trying to get the block out, but he was a little bit too far in court to happen, for that to happen. And the impressive thing is that they were able to get a triple block on a pretty fast set to the outside. This wasn't in system, this out of system. This was in system. It's a nice block by France. Oh, good pass by Shochi. Nice up from Engapet. And a block back by Christensen. He finished the match with a block in the semis. He's starting the match one with one here in the gold medal game. Well, getting the, those three blockers in, especially with the setter getting all the way to the other side of the court. We talked about Christensen, a very good blocker for the USA. First serve for Jendrick. Unlucky. Could have gone anywhere. Watch where both teams start serving. A lot of action was coming at Russell in the last match, certainly between he and, the, and DeFalco in the seams. Ooh. Well, Smith's realizing he had the block in front of him and trying to go the other way. This ball's just a little bit behind his head as well, so he's trying to cut it. Knows that he has that seam, but too far behind him to hit it in the court. So France up by two already. Oh, oh. Come on. that's a really good save by TJ. But a great finish from Patry, who's just so good at that. But he sees everything. He has both opportunities. There's that save by DeFalco, a really great up, but gives them a free ball opportunity. He has to dive into that angle. That's the money shot. So hitting that line is what Patry can do. And USA calling a timeout early. pretty good and you were in a good spot he just went through his arms so i know you were talking about going right you don't need to go right necessarily you can stay neutral on that okay yeah all right all right so really i slowed down a little bit we get one time out before 12 so i just burned it right okay. here we go here we go bye 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 one two three you got to cool calm and collected as john sproul always is Italian fans in, the French fans in, the USA fans in, the Polish fans in. And it's all about this game now, France against the USA. We've had the bronze medal match already. That was a great game. We're expecting the same here. We're getting the same. What a pick up, Grabenikov. Oh, class, is that landed in? It has. The block's all saying no touch, but it's such a good spin on the ball. Well, he gets his feet all the way there. There's the dig by Grabenikov, keeping it alive. And watch him chop this ball deeper in the corner. That is a money shot if you can hit it. I don't know if that was in. That oh, looked out. But it has been given out. It's been given out. So he's up to France to challenge. They're not going to. Don't want to waste one early, maybe. So Christensen back to serve. He's wearing his equal jersey. It's an initiative between 
Volleyball World and the Let's Keep the Ball Flying Foundation to promote equality in sport around the world. But right now there is no equality in this match because France are racing away with it a little bit. Three up already. A couple of errors. That's a, a small unforced error by DeFalco. He wants to hit that to the right back, the right side of the court, just to get them out of system, and he misses that one. Well, that's an easy lead. Just lets a little bit of pressure off for the USA. And there's some players like for, for DeFalco and Ensign. This is the biggest game they've played in in terms of playing for something. Right. So it's interesting to see how they'll handle the situation. Both of them were involved with Long Beach. They've won the NCAA. They know what that kind of pressure's like. But this is another level again. It's a totally different ball game when you're here. And France, the current Olympic champions, for those that didn't know, so they know exactly what it's like to win the highest, at the highest level. That's good for the batteries. He sees the block very well. His physical can hit around it. Patry, we're going to say his name a ton. This is great pressure from France already. They mean business. Well, France right now is number one in the VNL in ace percentage. USA is at number six, but there's a reason they're number one. They've got tons of great servers at the end line. A bit of uncertainty between Shoji and DeFalco. Not too far away from the golf. Nice finish by Ensign. Well, what a set by Christensen running all the way to the left side of the court. Flings that ball perfectly. Watch how far he is from that side of the court. And Ensign hitting that ball deep into the corner. They have to put that pressure on the France block. Cannot let them get set. Nice touch. A little bit spinny. And USA not happy with it. Micah Christensen's already getting in there with Grabenikov. A little bit with Ingepet as well. They're having some conversations about that. Thought it was a throw. And he, he's going to do a lot of funky things. We're going to see him do shots behind his head, pretend to set, hit balls. Just keep an eye on Ingepet. He's going to wow you with how he plays the game. Oh, come on! <laughs> wow! Oh, my goodness! That is incredible! Running forward, sets the ball perfectly to the outside, and look at Russell cutting it. Did you like that on a platter, sir? A little bit of parsley with that one? <laughs> Just a touch. Oh my goodness. What a set. Ensign. Taken well by Grabenikov. And the pipe working. That's an impressive run. When you get all three blockers in there, they read the play, but look at how the ball was able to... Clivino hits this ball past all three attackers, gets in there fast. There's going to be so much fire through this I, I, net. I love the energy in the match already. Good ball. Oh, that's a shame it's... Oh, the net touch. Oh, no, just on the side of France. That, the first referee just teasing us then with his yeah. decision, <laughs> which he was going to make. <laughs> well, that ball, look how far it is over the plane. It completely crosses, so they call Christensen for a back row. Bit of a scramble. Free ball for France. Well, it's just going over the net. Chinonese couldn't get anything on it. Ensign can, but Brizard gets the taxi. Oh, it's still going. Excellent. Oh, no, it's gone against Russell for a net touch. And he knows it. He's not, he's not arguing. Hey, everyone jumped up, thought maybe he was going to get called for a double or a lift. But right there, he hits the net at the end of the play. No argument on the side of USA. It's already for technical time there. Which means we're going to get a QR code. So when you see it, scan it. Of 
have very quickly got over their disappointment of their team not being in the final. And they're really enjoying the show here. And you can be part of the show as well. If you scan the QR code, download the app, and we'll have a trivia game to play after the first set. Chance to win some signed merch. And Gapet's going to mix it up. Sometimes it's a hard jump serve. It's a float. He'll drop it short. It's a good serve. Well played. Oh, yes, France bringing a bit of Brazil to Bologna. <laughs> Setting that ball, getting it over on two. France is really, it's, it's the service pressure right now. We talked about that earlier, how good they are from the service line getting the USA off the net, forcing the ball to come back back at them, and they're controlling it. Oh, it's still in play if it can come over. No, it's going to go as uh, a carry. Or oh, not to, on Russell's touch, but on the one after that. Right. Chinyanezi getting in there, big physical blocker. Look how disciplined he is. Waits for that ball to be set, then releases to the outside. Does not bite with the middle because he knows it's going out there. Oh, that's harsh, isn't it? That, that's one of those situations we just want that. Keep the rally going. I know. <laughs> well played, Shoji. There's a lot of pressure coming from the serving line. Another fantastic dig. This time, Brizard keeping it off the floor. Ensign's out of the play. Christensen just trying to conjure up something. It's not working. And Engapet now in on the action. It's more points for France. So much going on on that side of the net. They're just completely in sync right now. Know where each other are, setting the ball right behind his head. France really looking smooth at the beginning of this set. Kyle Russell has come in, and Carl Ensing has gone off. One opposite for another. Something to build on for the USA, perhaps. Getting that pipe attack going is going to be big for them. If they can handle the ball perfectly, everybody has seen what they are able to do out of the back row, beating that block inside of it. And Yezzy's there, just can't get over the net. Such a good ball. Well, that's not landed in, but there's some... Oh, OK, calm down, boys. <laughs> calm down, because you'll just get into trouble. Not the story of magic. There is no way anyone is going to uh, fluster the referee. Yeah. We'll just get back to card. Not too good. They're all calling for it. They want the touch. The touch has been given. Backroll player. Uh, it was from the back row player. Well Thanks. spotted by the referee. But he certainly won't allow them. Um, he will not allow that kind of behavior at all. No. Court Russell. Just shows you. I mean, it just kind of shows you the mentality front that they are up for this match they right are. now. Absolutely. Oh yes. Oh, what a pick up, <laughs> Rizard! I thought that was on the floor. <laughs> oh, this is incredible stuff. Engapet's out. He's having a rest, <laughs> and then he's just put away <laughs> by Cleveno. <laughs> so he's down, but he's down with style. Always with style. Here's the, the entire rally. There was so much going on here. First, it was that amazing pickup by Brizard. But the ball stays alive, and everyone there's Ingepet slips on some sweat on the ground. Just hangs out. Right. Looks his own sweat. That's right. Let's get a little rhythm right now. Get a little momentum. It's carrying on to the next set. Hey, uh, heads up the whole way here. Okay? We, need to get, we need to get our competitive energy where it needs to be. It needs to be positive. Next point, looking at one another, good body language, making a play, having some enthusiasm, okay? There's a lot of this set left. We can get back to where we need to be with a competitive energy play. That's the goal here. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. You hear that a lot, don't you, when, when um, the set is gone? And he's right. He's saying no, there's still a lot of it to be played, so let's just take one point at a time, effectively. Yeah. And it's, it's the competitive energy that he's talking about. He said, hey, we have body language is important. Looking at one another, all those things will carry you into that second set. If they can just kind of regroup here, 
look one another in the eye and say, hey, let's, let's get ourselves back in this. Shinanezi. DeFalco trying to avoid the block, but unfortunately couldn't find the court. Now take a look at this swing, looking for it, going high and deep. Can't come up with it. Oh, Legoff with a bit of a, a cut shot. Again, it's a serving pressure. Yeah, Legoff sees Christensen in front of him, but that service pressure has been unreal so far by France. Again, more pressure. And released, though, by Russell. That's a good swing for him. Every time he's come in, he's just gone about doing the job he's there to do, hasn't he? He did that in the quarterfinals, really came up big for the USA. He's a physical attacker, he can get on it quick. That's a nice, a nice substitution, and he's going to be key for them making up some ground here. Yeah, Russell plays in France, actually, with uh, Allegra de Setti. So he knows quite a few of these players. There's the French style of volleyball. That's a good pick-up by Jendrik. But it's free ball for France, four players moving. Well, these are trying to force that one to the middle and they'll get away with it, France. So many plays where France is just making, USA is just a little bit out of sorts. They're scrambling, playing good defense, keeping the ball alive, but that ball coming back over, they just can't, can't focus in on. Excellent, but a good pick up by Grabenikov. Nice work by Smith. Well, the last time USA got their middles going, that made the difference in how they were playing the game. Look at Smith, finds that gap in between the two blockers, very far away from Christensen, but still able to find some space. Christensen now with the serve. Well played. So it's deemed to have gone inside the antenna, and the moment then that Brizard touched it, it's out of play. So Christensen will serve again. Boyer oh yeah, looking on, not required yet to go and put any dents in the floor. Patry doing all the work in the opposite slot at the moment. There's a net touch, it's against Russell. And this set really is all but over. A really nice run all the way on that side of the court, keeping your middle still involved. France really in control here. Well left. Everything's going well for Gianelli, for Andrea Gianni and his team right now. Didn't quite go so well for Gianelli earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. Oh, goodness, the block didn't know where to go. And Ingepet's like, oh, there it is. Well, he's so smart, sees the block, hits it, blasts it high. He's trying to recycle it, get it back on his side of the net because he knows it's inside and his feet aren't there. And he hits up into the block and it comes, lands right on top of his head again. Finishes. Very nicely done. Geoffroy has come on to serve. And he'll be going off again to think about what he's just done. Scoop out of the net. Chance here for the US. Oh, well played. What a great pick up by Chinanesi. And it will come back, but straight for Russell. Really good chase down by 
France, keeping that ball alive. And that's the trouble with setting that ball just nice and easy over the net on the on the last last contact. If you're ready for it, Russell always is so smart. Comes up at that point. I think he just said thank you. Right? I think he did. Yeah. Cody Kessel and Richard Stahl trying to get something going, enjoying that one for the team. Now Smith will serve again. Ball in for Benikov. Oh, Patry doesn't find the court. That's a rare error from him. USA will take it. Getting a bit of momentum going now. Timeout called by France. Well, and serving that ball kind of in that seam that forces the pass forward, and then they have to go in the opposite direction to Patry. Maybe that's that's something they know and they sense he might hit out or hits at a lower percentage off of that ball. C'è la battuta, ma il ritmo nostro deve essere sempre quello del set out con loro. Battute forti, giochiamo le scalamatine, giochiamo le palle alte. Il nostro gioco. Yeah, he definitely has got a top tash, Carl Russell. Now I would say that the honorary uh, captain for the USA, Magnum, would be very, very pleased indeed with the efforts from both the Brussels in this one. I would agree with you. I say Magnum and Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. Magnum P.I. Oh, yes. <laughs> There'll be a load of people like, what? Who? <laughs> Where's Magnum? Back to the 80s, people. Come on. <laughs> well, now back into uh, here in Bologna, Smith serving. That's it. A good save by Patry. And a good swing from Russell. And the USA are getting a little bit of a hustle on here. Well, they know they have to. There's a ton of match left, as was talked about in the timeout. And a smart swing, just getting it to go off the inside hand of Ingepet. That's not a great serve. And in the end, it's hammered away by Chinanesi, but they had to work for it. And what a set by Grizzard, who's off the net, he's so good at this, finding his middles when he's at 11 feet, he gets balanced, then he turns, finds his middle, who is still up and available. Quality ball in, and Jendrik has no trouble putting that away. Well played, Shoji, what a pass. Well, he takes a look at that, that the block, as soon as the ball's passed, look at him take a look, and then he sets it over. Sees Patry take off, he knows he's going to have one block in place for Jenrick. Oh, set. Oh, incredible. That off the shoulder number not working for DeFalco. Beautiful one-handed set. A ball that's coming tight, and Brizard so good at flinging that ball high to the outside, hitting this ball deep into the corner. Patry once again. Set point now for France. And they'll get it done first time of asking. 25-16. A very impressive first set for France and the fans. Well, that one went by in a little bit of a blink of an eye for the USA. They're going to have to try and refocus. They have made a much better end to the set with a good run from Smith. So now it's time for us to play the uh, trivia game, the global trivia game. So for those of you that have scanned the QR code and you've downloaded, downloaded the app, I'd like you to... Uh, Open the app up. Now is the final, so it's more difficult. You have three balls. And you've got a few options that you can uh, click on. Take a look at this passing as well while we're yep, talking got it. about... Yep, there so we go. Okay, <laughs> no, that's we'll okay. Go back to this, so back to the... Uh, 
Yeah, so go click on more and then click on uh, VB Showtime. And once you've done that, just follow the on-screen instructions. And uh, once you've done that and uh, follow those instructions, you will be synced, OK? So you need to be wait to be synced. So if you've all done that and you've all waited, you should be ready by now. The Volleyball World Trivia Game is about to take place, so please get ready, have fun, and good luck to the winner. Whoever, whoever wins the quiz, good luck to you. You're going to get a signed ball by the winners as well. So that's, that's cool. awesome. So we saw some stats on the screen as we were going through that. The biggest one of note, 15 kills by France, 8 kills by the USA. So that was a tough go of it. 15% perfect pass by the USA. And that's the biggest trouble right now. They're not able to handle the ball as well as they'd like. But France, again, multiple servers that can serve multiple positions. And a, and a coach who knows exactly what it's like to win. And Antilly, who was the uh, in charge of France when they won the Olympic Games. And for those of you that watched that, you probably saw him dive after a ball as well. That was hilarious uh, to show his team that, how to do that. But he's now uh, taken a step away. He's going to be coaching in Japan. But very keen to see how his team, his former team, will get on here in the Volleyball Nations League finals. Well, they're certainly playing like the Olympic gold champions right now. They really are calm, poised, and putting so much pressure on the USA. And we've seen the USA respond throughout the VNL. We know they have the ability to do it, and they just have to kind of reset here, handle the ball, pass the ball, and they'll, they'll be in fine shape. Looks like USA flipped around a little bit here now, starting in rotation one, where they were in rotation four. So we'll see if that matchup change helps them at all here in the second set. Christensen, it will be to get set two underway. Good up by Shoji. Russell, who kept his place on court, comes up with the opening point. Nice start. Starts with that dig by Shoji, keeping the ball alive creating this transition. They want to set a lot of balls on the right side of the court, see if they can generate some, some offense over there. Nice pass. Just a little bit inside, but Patry, again, he comes up with solutions more often than not. He's really good at getting his feet there, but then recognizing as soon as that ball is low that he needs to make something happen. He knows where the defense is already. He tips it right to the middle of the court and gets that ball to bounce. It'll be Patry who will go back to serve. Well, Christensen waited as long as he could, but he had to get out of the way because he can't block. <laughs> no, he was trying to decide where does he go, what position is he going to be in, and Smith tries to turn on this and get a block. Should he stay or should he go? Right. If he stays over trouble, he goes. It will be double. Indeed, and it was. Oh, has that caught some fingers? Has it? No, says the referee, but the players are all... Suggesting it has, so we'll have a little challenge and find out. I see USA running a little bit faster, getting that double quick going in transition, see if they can just control the pace of the match a little bit better. <laughs> D'Agostino, he's such a character, isn't he? <laughs> he always says, is the camera right? I'm going to do something. <laughs> Go and get your fingers there back out of the ball. There it is. You know you touched it. Hawkeye's going to see it. Yes, there's no fooling Hawkeye. 
2 2. DeFranco with the serve. Well, he had a good toss going after it. Oh, I see. <laughs> that's a great serve. Engerpet just says, yep, yeah, that's a high to the middle. Well, high over to position two. Petri's over the top. It's Simple. ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And Engerpet just can control the ball. It just isn't happening, is it, at the moment? I just wonder, some of the, the setting from Christensen, I wonder, is it just a tad high? Because of the speed they're running uh, it, Perhaps it is. It, it looks like the timing's okay, but you're just not getting a hold of the ball. Good up by Cliff No. Smith's on it. Get a golf. Just says, you know what? I think this is coming middle. Well, that's a nice play, because you're not sure if that ball is going to come right back when the middle sets it to the setter. Legoff, Legoff just stays there. He hangs tight. He's going to fully commit on Smith. Look at those hands. He's so big. My goodness. Trouble. Well, if you don't get the A serve, that's the next best thing. The overpass, that's hammered away by your front row player. Well, in USA, just needs to pull the ball as best they can off the net. Does not have to be a perfect pass. There's like a finishing that overpass. Control it, get the ball high in the middle of the court. If possible, they are absolutely ripping those serves. See if you can get some offense going. So I say I brought in Muaga to Tia. Very experienced outside hitter for the USA, and that's a good, good ball in, but what a great block by France again. Legoff standing in there waiting for it again, sees Smith go, commits one more time to that hard angle. Very good at reading the play. Oh, oh there you go, Mike is like, you're gonna get one on this. <laughs> On that pass, Legoff takes off, completely gone. Engapet goes to the right side of the court. There is zero block. Hey, you got to go one more time. That's, that's respect, isn't it? Legoff's like, yeah, well played. Got me. Well played, Muraga Dutia. Really nice substitution. Handled the first ball really well to get Smith going and now hitting out of the back row when he's on the bench kind of cold. Moago Tatia using that experience for Team USA. That's a good serve. Good up by Smith. Oh, well played, Christensen. But it's free ball for France. Oh, it only looked like there was Enga Pet available. Where did Legoff come from? <laughs> He's sneaky. He's a sneaky big guy. He just jumps, just a step close, gets ready for it, available. And just the fact that they know where each other are, I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's that connection, I think, that makes it, them so good. Wonderful set from Brizard. Russell back to the serving line, Kyle Russell. So far, so good for Gianni. He goes straight ahead at Engapet, standing straight up, ready for the ball. So he's trying to go after Club No. Mm -hmm. with the serve. France move into a strong series 
of rotations. There was a brilliant serve from Brizar. He's got the better of Juan with Dutia. And to be able to hit this ball directly in the seams, you want to be able to do this. That's a call from the bench. Let's work the seams between the passers. And to be able to hit it that hard and nail it is, is quite incredible. Brizar once again. Some offense to run. No, oh, you're kidding. Well, it's popped up very kindly, and then in the end, it will be it's USA who kept the point. Christensen, uh, he's always up for a bit of banter. <laughs> pretends to swing at that ball at the end there and it wasn't even coming over the net. So now, USA just three behind. Oh, a big serve. Oh, little change up. No, oh, come on. Then Capet can't have a full swing, but he's uh, showing that he can do whatever he wants, really. As that serve gets him way off the net, and Gapet comes in and ends up with his left hand, just throwing it off the block. That's the stuff we're talking about that he does. He's got so much variety in his game. Good touch. Freebie. Oh, no! It was a free swing to the line. But just maybe that movement from Cleveno thinking for Russell, he's got to put an extra little bit of cut on it. So much great defense on the side of France, keeping it alive, and he wanted that so bad. Russell wanted it. Terrible time out again. Serve. USA have made two changes to their lineup. Wagadutia in for uh, DeFalco, Russell in for Ensing. And they're starting to flow now, are the USA. Perfect pass. Once again, getting the block to jump. Have to hold on that ball. Setting that ball just a little bit over the shoulder. Russell coming in hot out of the back row. Jendrick. Oh, goodness me, what a cutaway. So impressive, Chinginese going away from the direction he's taking his approach. Watch him drift past the zone and cut it back inside the block. That's just an elite level play. Chinginese now to serve. Just got that this, uh, toss. Wasn't quite where he wanted it, had to adjust, couldn't. Right, Christensen back to serve. Nuanka Tatia, Smith and Russell all in the front row. It's a big front row for the USA. Cried up by Grabenikov. Oh, it's a free one in the middle for Ingepen. What a set by Brizard. Running forward, all the offense is pulling. USA blocks at the left side of the court, and then Ingepet just comes in out of the back row. Unexpected. Hits that ball right between the blockers. Oh, 
I don't know why there's a delay. Oh, I do know why there's a delay, because I couldn't see from that side. There's a, there's a perspiration cleared off the court. There we have it. Patrie to serve. Good ball, Shoji. They're trying to get the pipe working a lot now, the USA. Running that same play, moving forward and running the pass. Pipe behind him is Christensen, you see, but Clemeno's in there. He knows that's where it's going. That's where the back row attack action is. And a really smart job by Russell hitting that off the hands. You just wonder, don't you, the, the three middles that Christensen went to Smith on, that's got Goff jumping, and the Goff jumping, and now he can run the pipe and get some space. Well, that's well played by Cliveno. Somehow managed to go out over the other sideline. This is a good angle to see it coming in really sharp. Just hits it as hard as he can off the inside hand. Trouble again. For those of you that are new to the game, for those of you who are thinking perhaps that maybe when you're serving is to start a rally, this is a great example of the fact that it's absolutely not. Serving is the one time the ball's in the air, has got to give it to you, okay. and you're there and to remember your responsibility, it's okay? Gap on gap, it's you, you've got to make sure. They play that most of the time, okay? Okay. Uh, and you make sure you give a little bit of space, because he's got to come over and get a little bit more on that wide, you know? Once again, Sparrow staying calm and they're adults, the shout is gonna achieve nothing ever. Um, never does. But it's just giving the information the players need and no oh, players trying to make a mistake or trying to make an error. There's a lot of pressure coming from the serve at the moment for from France. One point at a time will be the mantra for the USA, you feel. But there is the break points they need, right? It is the break points. I mean, that's been the biggest difference right now. Smith got a few in the last set. But France have got attacks coming from everywhere on the court. And Engapet's down on his knees, so you did your job getting one of the attackers down. But again, too many attacks coming out of the back row at the same time. Klubino there for the kill. Easy one from Marga to Tia. And that one's bounced very nicely by Russell. Luzard doing his best Elvis impression, but that doesn't keep the ball alive. <laughs> Look at this swing, sharpening that angle, and the pet tries to Kong block it with one hand. Can't, can't get it, and hits a pass it. Well, it's tough. This is high-level volleyball. If you're not performing, the coach has got to make a decision, and right now, for Tori DeFalco, TJ's got to sit and watch and wait for his opportunity if he gets one. Rizard to serve. Oh dear. Well, he's lucky, he just clipped the net, so he didn't have to buy everybody pizza. <laughs> I'm going, and he's trying to mix it up, serve that ball to the right side of the court, even though his targets might be on the left. Trying to change some things up and get creative. Oh, come on. How does he? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> But the USA don't care because they have the point. Really good serve by Russell. Gets Engapat to, to stab that ball and get some offense going. Again, have to serve tough, have to put France on their heels right now to have a shot at coming back here in this set. It's quite like cool by France. <laughs> Non giochiamo col punteggio, giochiamo con le nostre qualità, con il nostro ritmo. Punto.
It's the, the smallest gap here or there, and it just gets punished. Just a little bit of space in the block, and Ingepec can find it. Hits that ball outside of his body. Again, sees the block really well, the line blocker in front of him. No matter what people might think of him or think uh, or about his volleyball, he doesn't conform to the norms that we normally see. He just has this ability to just, whether it's improvisation or what, it doesn't matter. He's, he gets the job done. Absolutely. And he leaves you thinking, how on earth did he do that? Right. <laughs> Gender trying to go down the line and thread that need on Flivino. We know this serve's coming. We know Joffrey's going to serve kind of right between Russell and Maga Tatia. Quinton with the serve. Oh, he's only come up with an ace. A little dolly dropper right in front of Russell and Maga Tatia. But he's dolly dropped it right into the hallway of uh, hesitation. Uh, dropping this ball short when he looks like he's coming hard at you and that ball just sinks right in front of you and that's again what France does they have so many different serves hard jumpers chop across the court they can drop it short they mix it up with a float they do it all it's very difficult to read and that's a good response from Geoffroy having come in in the previous set put the ball plumb in the net and he's now evens can he go plus one Certainly got that ball in, and there's work to be done here by Moaga Tatia. He's done it brilliantly. Moaga Tatia is really good at seeing that block, seeing the block set right in front of him, knows he has to tool off of it. Again, the experience of that player hitting that ball high and flat off the hands. Rotation five for France, so uh, three attackers available. Make it four with the pipe. Good touch, Russell. Good art. What a great pickup, Grabenikov. And it's France who capitalize. Making that play off the block. The ball rattles through. Grabenikov keeps his composure here. Dives in the middle of the court. But this is what they're able to do. They still get a swing. They always get a quality swing off of these plays. Even when it's rattling around in the back row. France always on the attack. Margaretia finds a way through. This is a much better second set from the USA, although the scoreline not much different to the first at the moment. But they've got chances. They should be able to perhaps put a bit of pressure on from the serving line and perhaps get a little bit closer. If you find something to think about, Margaretia with the ball. Nice work by Broussard. Christensen kind of knew it was coming, but still couldn't stop it. Well, you read it as a setter, you're kind of anticipating that. That's kind of what you're always looking at. Crashes in for it's just a little too sharp. He kind of crashes to the middle of the court. And it, Broussard really smart hitting that at an angle. That's off the arm. That's the tempo set on the run. Christensen still keeping the offense in rhythm here. Look at that flight of the ball. Perfectly set to Russell. That looks very comfortable. They're definitely settling in a little bit more to their offense. Smith. Oh, wonderful. It's just that little delay from Broussard. He hangs, he pauses, and then it's hard to read where he's going to go with the ball. And Gapet, again, with every shot in the book. Set point for France. Good pass. And a nice put away by Jendrick. Perfect pass here. Gignesi's up. Sees the play, tries to take something away, but Jenner gets on it. Oh, 
Well, you wrap up the set. Well, they've done it. Dengapet puts it down. It's 2-0 now for France against the USA. And would you believe it? France are one set away from gold here in Bologna. They are playing so well. Dengapet hits this one just over and through the block. Sees it really well. We saw every shot from him already. Tipping and shotting the ball left hand. He's got the snake going there. Definitely feeling it. French fans are loving it. Well, that's just quite incredible, really, to think that we're up to nothing already. Well, I say we, it's not me, I'm not playing. <laughs> France are up to nothing. We got to that point where we were really weren't sure the way this match was going. I think there are a lot of people feeling that France might take it. But to be up to nothing already, there's a lot of pressure now on the USA. And a good test of their character to see how they respond. It is. I mean, this is this is big for them. Even being back here in this position in the finals is huge for the USA, certainly after last year and, and how that entire year and a half went for them. Well, Stefano Cesari, just uh, the reserve referee looking on, very experienced referee in the Italian league and uh, on these, uh, in these events as well. So this is what's been happening. Pets actually up to five points. He's the best attacker in that set. Okay. There's a lot, a lot of action coming from all over the court. They're able to pass well, then they can run the middle, but, but really they've been effective from every single area of the court. I like this graphic. That's a fun one. That's cool, isn't it? But you get to see who, who the best spikers were of the set. And even of the match, I mean, they're in complete control. Take a look at the attackers. Ingepet with 12 kills. Plevino with seven. And then Russell from the USA with seven, but then it's Patry. So really, France's offense still clicking, but they are serving so well and still forcing the USA to not be quite in rhythm. They just haven't, haven't gotten in a groove yet at all. It's never comfortable at this level, but certainly that's the furthest from the USA's mind right now. And it's probably been, perhaps, you could use that word for France. So it has been a little bit comfortable. But before we talk about that, let's head down to the court because Key's ready to talk to Gianni. Coach, it, you've done such a great job of shutting down the USA's offense. How have you done it, and how do you keep doing it? Uh, we start well, to say. Push her, put defense. But in the middle of the set, we, I don't know if we are in front and the our mind go low, no, but continue to push because this team have continuity every time and we, we need to push them every time, no. I think this uh, continue to work with the set out or if you want set out is important, but don't lose some ball for the defense. Thank you so much, Coach. <laughs> All right, let's head to the other side. Cheers for that, Key. Well, he's right, isn't he? And, and he, he knows that that is France. It's typical for, yeah, we're up. OK, yep. we can relax. Well, just cruise a little bit. They can't cruise, and they can't cruise against the USA. He knows that. They know it, but they, they feel so in control right now that you can see them laughing in between points and joking around, and that's good that they they feel that way, but he knows at any moment if they let off the gas too much that the USA can can really storm back here. They're going to have to give their opposition their utmost respect, France, by playing their best volleyball from start to finish. It's the only way that you're going to be able to function at this level. The equal jersey being worn by the fans. You can buy one as well. Go to Volleyball Worlds. And on the website, they've got a club shop. You can uh, purchase a shirt and you'll be uh, donating to the Let's Keep the Ball Flying campaign to promote equality through volleyball around the world. And uh, oh, that's great. John Sparrows bags back. He's going to have a chat with Key. Let's hear what he's got to say. All right, Coach. So much service pressure coming from the other side. How can you guys get your offense running a little bit more smoothly? <laughs> well, hopefully pass the ball a little bit better. Hopefully put a little bit of pressure back on them. We haven't done that at all. We're going to go with a new lineup. We've never done it before. We've never even practiced it. So we're just going to try something new, give you guys something to talk about up in the booth. 
and see if you can figure it out while we figure it out. Awesome. All right, so all right, let's go do it. Lee Mike Clayton, something to talk about. Great, can't wait. What's he done? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what he's, uh, he's done. He's got Russell yeah. at, at outside one, but Moaga to Tia yep. and uh, DeFalco. DeFalco are both oh. in. So, to me... And opposite. Yeah, DeFalco's playing opposite. That mm -hmm. was what they were talking yep. about. Yeah. He's going to have a coming play. Yeah. I mean, you know what? They don't have the numbers here. They don't have the stats to say, OK, this is what they do in these rotations. So we'll see what happens. Could this be? Could this be a London 2012? Alekno remove moving Mazeski from <laughs> no, no, no. middle to opposite and beating Brazil after being two sets to nothing down, three two to take gold. The pressure on Klebno, but he gets a great ball in, and they're able to run the middle. That's impressive from France. Really impressive, and Chinyanezi doing the same thing, drifting away and cutting back. You see Smith a little frustrated. He took, again, the right angle, but might want to take a chance next time and dive into that cutback and see what happens. Chinyanezi serve. Well, he does have a... At times, he is a little bit like, uh, I guess you could call him Mr. Crumple Stillskin in the way that he, uh, <laughs> he just kind of gets all a little bit crunched up, doesn't he? I wish people could see you right now, crunching your body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well played, Clevano. Sneaking that ball through the block. And France getting, getting things going on the offensive side of the game, but it'll be interesting to see a couple of missed serves. Are they questioning where they want to put this ball and why? Thinking a little, overthinking the serving. That would be good. Right to show you, would be really good. That's nice. But the thing as well with this new lineup now, it's like everything that France have uh, scouted is just out the window here. It's, it's completely out the window. So all the number, I mean, it's the same players, but it's not really at all the same team, so. They're going after Cleveno as much as they can right now. Wow. Well, that's not worked for, oh, it has. He's caught the fingers, Patry. That was a beautiful set by Ingepet. <laughs> Almost from the end line, back setting this ball. Look how far it goes perfectly to the back row attack. It's just like he said, it's like, yeah, it's I know. <laughs> His arms up. Oh, good cover. They're fighting hard. And they're going to get the point. Oh, the USA, but uh, Shoji's been absolutely clattered. Both of them going after the ball. And he gets up slowly, but gets up eventually. But this is the effort that the USA needs to make something happen. They have to keep going after it here. And nice. France decides to pull. Yeah, not block that ball. USA have their lead. Morocco to Tia with the serve. Oh, Football from Morocco to Tia. Yeah, you can see it right there. That toe just touches the line. Clevano a little bit by surprise. Well, it's a really nice short string, you call it, play. When the ball's passed this way, you've got the middle blocker coming, and you can set quickly over the top, and that's where Russell beats the block off the floor to hit it deep. Jendrick. Just clever, clever play from Ega. He knew that they had the three blockers. Well, that's the key, and that's the area of the court that's going to be open. The third blocker develops there. There's nobody in the left side, in the left front area of the court. Impossible. No Shoji, right? Yeah, I mean that's tough. I mean that's what you're supposed to do when you have the middle blocker in the back row. That's a smart play. Well, it's all square at the moment. Five-five. It's certainly the best performance so far from the USA in the in the uh, sets we've seen. They were two-two. 3-2, and then it kind of drifted away a bit. 6-2 with the timeout. So this is a much different kettle of fish. Nice. 
Nice work by Russell. Same thing again. Passing that quick ball all the way to the left side of the court. Quick set over the top. That rhythm is really good to the left side right now. Getting Russell going is going to be big for them. Well, they are, they are allowing him to operate now. You've got Mwanga Dutia and DeFalco both able to pass. Oh, keep the ball flying. And the USA have hustled up a great point. And a smart play by Christensen standing there and soft blocking that first ball. That's the first touch. And they recognize that and get it over the net. A little miscue. First time we've seen a little them a little bit discombobulated on that side of the, the net. Up by Russell, but he can't have a swing, but TJ can. And the USA now up by three. France calling the timer. They're rolling, taking advantage of some of those miscues. Again, a low set on the side of, of France creates this opportunity for USA, and they're taking advantage of these point scoring opportunities. Noi siamo una squadra che deve difendere se ci vogliamo. Non perdiamo i palloni sulle diagonali lunghe neanche uno, quelle non cadono mai, mai. Poi, è il nostro gioco, non quello che fanno loro, che fa la differenza. Quindi le cose semplici, cambio palla, fa sempre, cambio palla, fa sempre. Well, that, that song, the Macarena, is uh, widely used when Wentorena was playing for Italy. That is a crack block for the USA. Well, this is a little bit of genius from Sporo, potentially. And Furbringer to decide, you know what? What we've got isn't working, we need to change it. They are changing it, and it's working. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, there's not much you can do. That's a, a world-class block from Russell and Smith. And That's it. Christensen will serve again. He's been bombing these serves. Kravenikov is handling them, but it's been really difficult to get in rhythm. I think the fans just want five sets. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> They're very fickle. <laughs> Just love good volleyball, don't want it to end. See, Sparall get up and really give them a, a hand. He's happy with how they're playing. They're playing way more aggressively with this new lineup. Definitely a sense of urgency on the side of USA. That will go the USA's way. They're getting plenty of support. The smiles and the laughter and the joking is is not uh, isn't on the faces of France at the moment. But they've always got Patry to go to. He's so good, so consistent. You can just count on Patry when you need a point. He's not going to do anything wild, anything crazy. He's going to be smart with where he puts the ball. Beautiful set by Grizzard and a nice high flat swing. Now, Chinonese to serve. Oh, lovely, absolutely lovely. Smith going on that beat quick, drawing the golf away. Well, on that ball that may have fallen earlier, that short serve, they're reading it better. Soji just jumps on in for that play. Now they're getting their offense playing. Oh, very nice. Look off. Is that enough of jumping up and uh, wafting at thin air? <laughs> I'd want to get sent too. Lagoff hitting that ball deep into the court, hard to defend.
set. Oh, good hit. That's a, oh, it's been given us out. That's a good looking swing. It was a great swing, but we'll see. We're gonna have a look. Let's let's get the whole guy going. Is it a thing that every time there's a challenge, they've all got to do sit-ups? Yeah, stay, keep your abs warm during yeah. a challenge, yeah. just in case you need to Come on, throw well. an axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not even close. <laughs> wow. It's the illusion. <laughs> uh, the it's quite an illusion. It was. Mind you, we're miles away, and the pair of us should be wearing glasses, so, yeah. It is a point for France. Falco, you just get the feeling that he's fired up, he got taken out, he was thinking, well, that's it, that's the end of my game. He's got another chance here, and he's taking it. And he's really controlled in his movements, smart with his swing. Look at that, he knows where he's going with that, but they're, they're handling the ball again. They're passing well right now, getting some one-on-one opportunities. Keep passing, keep passing. Every opportunity with four gives them a much different look. So every chance we have, make sure we're in four. That's your butt. Over the net on the block. Just get over it. We can dig around it, but when you guys are waiting up there, they're doing everything else. Get over it. Such an important, important point by Matt Ferberger over there, he said, hey, when you guys are waving your hands around, it's hard to play defense around the block. You gotta just press over, you don't have to be super high. But when your hands are flailing a little bit, it's really hard to play defense around it. DeFalco with the serve. We will come back. But then Moaga Tatia puts it away. A bit of frustration from Brizza. We've got a game on here. Well, the overload is working every time. Getting that ball over top of the middle, running it quick. But it, again, DeFalco starting with his serve. A perfect toss. We're at the end line. We can see right behind him. He can get, he can get some points growing here. Right up. Yeah, that will work. <laughs> what a pick up by Russell, and he's straight in to celebrate with DeFalco. Oh, Russell, such a good teammate. Stands in there for this pipe attack. He just hangs in tight, digs this ball, and gets excited for DeFalco, who makes a smart swing. That ball was not perfectly set, and he had to adjust high off the hands. Just waiting patiently. He gets a chance. Does me. I think that tree's good. Boy, I can come in and hit from the up near the ceiling. Oh wow. yes! How good has he been on the right side? I mean, he's always been good, and when he's on ro in rotation one, then they set him in servicey. But he, this is a back row attack from the right side of the court. DeFalco has really stepped up right now. Well, it's working as well because he's against Engapet, so the fact that he's probably not one of the highest hitting opposites, but it's it's a really good rotation when he's having to go against Sterling. Not only that as well, Christensen finding him, that's a great swing from Patry. Apparently he's got a whole um, group of fans known as the uh, Patricians. Oh, <laughs> beautiful set. Patry hitting that sharp inside. I didn't know that. Is that Again, Russell, he's, he's got a slightly slower ball out there. Uh, or certainly the rhythm or the timing between him and, and Christensen is just is clicking now. It's isn't better. It? They're they're on the same page, and, and that's it. It's, sometimes it looks like the set's fine. Is it the attacker? Especially when you run a fast offense, 
If they can finally get that in rhythm, really hard to stop. Well, take a look at this block. Tignanese coming across, drifts like he did before. We'll see what Smith does here. Stays there. Remember, he was taking that power shot. Now he takes the cut back and forces him to hit that one out of bounds. A really good adjustment by Smith. Well, this is incredible. That's all right. Scambia palla sono 5 punti di break da fare e li facciamo. Da cosa dobbiamo partire? Battuta. Dobbiamo partire. Se le palle sono veloci, 4, non vado a chiudere, lascio lo spazio perché la difesa del posto 5 ce la teniamo lunga. Quindi se fanno questo c'è il muro del centrale. Well, it's incredible how a game can turn and a decision can have the impact it has. But Patry still the reliable element. And the one factor that the USA know is going to be tough to deal with. It's just so hard to stop. I mean, he's here, hits that ball off the block. I mean, he could have hit it line, but I don't know. I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> it's just really good. <laughs> I've run out. <laughs> yeah, we run out of superlatives. <laughs> and again, Anderson doing it. Uh, sorry, Russell doing that. This is what he was doing in the in the preliminary rounds. What he was doing in the quarters. He already has five kills in this in this third set. social media you can get involved on social media as well hashtag be part of the game we'll go to at volleyball world clever play clever play so From smart tj de falco really playing poised right now this is a beautiful set by marga good good see ya a roll shot that inside a little beach shot inside the block that triple block Cleveland knows there. He did play for the USA. I think it was under under 18s. I think so. yes, that's right. On the beach, in the world champs. There is. This is what uh, France were doing to the USA. The serving pressure has gone up another level. Oh, oh well played. Oh. No way. No way. Oh way. No way. Way. <laughs> Falco! How does he get this? For this palm. Oh! This <laughs> throws it up. That was crazy. A bat! <laughs> Unbelievable. The fans are absolutely loving this. Russell now with the serve. Well, France have made changes. They brought Tom Uti on, but it's not working. Free ball for France. They'll come again. And Tom Uti knows exactly where to go. I mean, that's, that's where I'd go. He's the one you can count on. Even if they dig him once earlier, stays in it. There's Soji staying with the ball, but... Go right back to him because you know he's going to get a kill on the second go around. Geoffroy. Excellent. Mohawker to Tia gets a little freebie out of four. A little snap on that ball, and he's so calm, 
cool as a cucumber, gets his kill, turns around, all business. Wow. What a performance by Margaret Chatia. Now, Russell's come on to serve. Something that he's been doing throughout the Volleyball Nations League. And he's not been a starter. That's not going to land in. The well, USA are going to take this set. I'm in an absolute turn of events. It really is a mirror image of what was going on earlier on in the match. So I'm usually trying to force that to the off, but it didn't work. More trouble for France. And that was all the wide that the was looking for. Show me those hands. Gets the block out. Everything Coach Braz wanted, the tough serving, forcing the ball to come back, being good out of system, smart with the swings off the hands, that's exactly what the USA is doing. Russell once again. After Cliffano, that's been the, the strategy for the USA pretty much throughout, and that's not found any fingers. Well, they're looking for a net touch, actually. So we're going to have a little look at that. I don't see a net touch on that replay. I don't either. I don't know if they're actually going to challenge it or not. Well, they're looking for the goal. It says block touch on our... Oh, there you go. That's your tablet. at the moment. Laurent Tilly not having to worry about this situation, really. He's like, yeah, I've done that. I've got a gold medal. I'm just going to sit and watch it. It's your problem there, Charlie, not mine. <laughs> it's good to, good to see him in the crowd watching on. One of the best. One thing for sure, it's a ten point gap. USA are not going to give this up. We are going to be going to a, a fourth set. Oh, that's right. So we want to see the. There's yeah, the touch. Was the ball down? That's the question. And um, I'll watch the now. Oh, no touch. Ball. I think okay. it is. Yeah. It is a yeah. fault. Yeah, right before the ball landed. And that's what we were waiting for. Excellent work by Hall Kayla. Shows the split screen. The ball's still live. So Patry will serve, but a side out is all that's required here for the USA. <laughs> and that will do it. What a turnaround for the USA. 25-14. Oh, we have done it. I thought... I thought they did it. Um, and... I thought they did it too. I thought they were on 24. Oh, the scoreboard didn't catch up. Right, well, here they go then. <laughs> From, as you were, everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's now the score. Yeah, the score keeps chase gone down. <laughs> what? They've gone down to 23. <laughs> it keeps going backwards. What's it? Oh, now it's gone up again. There it is. Okay, it's back. Uh, right, now we're at 24. 24 14. <laughs> Brilliant. Obviously, I went all Ron Burke. Oh, well, yeah. it was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not just me, is it? That's no. <laughs> it was 24 on the screen, oh, thought, on the yeah. scoreboard. And uh, that's... I mean, I did, have to, I did have to rub out the question mark I put on the intro <laughs> earlier. Yeah. Hi, I'm Clayton Lucas. <laughs> put that question mark there. <laughs> oh, you dropped it. He's gone again, 23.50. Well, I think what happens is when the point um, 
was the awarded net. because yeah. of the net, and then yeah. the challenge has to it, they, they, they have to return it around. So they've done it. Should now. be 24. Oh, yeah. Yes, but France have got 15. Cesare is looking on. He's not had to deal with that. He's all right. Uh, I don't know. Rus is there on the scores table, checking it's all okay. Set point it is. Oh, Patrick didn't want to have to play that. No. Nope. Defalco did go. And he has got Bologna rocking here now. USA take the set, 25-15, it's game on. Well, brilliant, just what we wanted. Glad Vitel's not sat here, because it'd have been 3-0. Yeah. So, so Vitel, he's been... He's, been, he's like, I want five, no, I want five sets. Oh, we got three, Vitao. No, sorry, Vitao. We have four, for sure. But that's great. So I guess, I mean, you're not going to change that back now, are you, for Spiral? I, I wouldn't. You leave it. They still don't have enough information. You know, it's one set to, you know, to really say, OK, we know exactly what they're going to do or how to defend this. They're playing well in it. So I, I'd, I'd roll with it, because you can always make changes later throughout the set. Well, this is the, the stats then, in terms of that. So, errors-wise, no aces. And the USA got a block, so they just soaked up all that serve pressure for France. That's it, 18 to 9. It was 15 to 8 when we were at the break between 2 and 3, and now 18 to 9 with attacks for the USA. They just, their offense was going, and it, we'll take a look at the spike velocity here, and how hard they were actually hitting the ball. Hot spike to Falcon, 126.84 kilometers per hour. It's, it's crazy. Precise. But you know, you don't have to hit it. You see all these yellow on the on the floor. It doesn't have to be that hard. They're just running a fast offense over the top, but that, that top spike speed is ridiculous. She's in the moment. It's a real party atmosphere here. It's amazing. Again, like you said, just we're in Italy, you have the USA and France playing, and the place is packed. Just loving their volleyball, enjoying the experience. So much fun here. VNL in the, the gold medal match. It's shaping up to be where we'd hope it would be, so we'll see. Yeah, there's a, there's a huge ask now on France. It's like, well, what just happened to us? Yeah. I, I am telling you, they looked exactly like the USA did in the, in the first two sets. They couldn't pass the ball, they were missing serves, didn't put service pressure on the USA, looked a little bit out of sorts with their connection. And TJ DeFalco coming in in the opposite position. They've never run this lineup although we know he can hit on the right, was so good in that set, but it was the combination of all the pieces together and the mentality of the team that really made a difference. Well, set four is about to get underway, and no surprises, the USA are keeping exactly the same lineup as the last set, with the Falco in the opposite slot. And Wilder to Tia, and Russell as the passer hitters. So, uh, Christensen's at one. Results back on, he's going to start at five. So they're changing things around, does that, and that means that DeFalco's not going to be hitting against Zenga Pep. Moving it a little bit and see if they can get a different matchup, have Klibano block against him. But it was also out of the back row. He had one rotation where he was attacking against Engapet when he was blocking. So it changes it just a little bit.
it up. Oh, and then come back with interest from Patri. Whoa. That's the whippiest of whippy arms. <laughs> And up that you thought might be staying on your the same side of the net, and Patrick just unleashes. <laughs> oh, right. That was a little bit of Encapet from yeah. uh, DeFalco. He's got his own array of shots and interesting things, but again, that speed to the pin, that's why it was really fast. He had to do something with it, it was smart off the block. Good commit by Smith. There's been a great tussle between him and Legoff in this match. Oh, Patrick's going to score one on one. Luanga de Tia is like, oh, I got you right there. Patrick, again, out of the back row, has one blocker there. Hits it right under that right arm of Luanga de Tia. Marco Tutti has had the whole of his finals to, he's been stood and watching, he's not been on the court, he's only come on to do a little bit of serving, but he's coming now, he's doing a great job. And he's, he's the king of tools, he's so good at hitting the ball flat into the block, knowing that it's going out. The well, to tool time. time. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Say that ten times faster. Uh, <laughs> Smith readies himself to serve. Very good serve, well played, Klevno. A little bit spinny, ball allowed to keep flying, and there's a net touch against the USA. Angabet and uh, DeFalco looking at one another, kind of having a little bit of exchange, but I think friendly exchange, there's that net violation. Uh, Jendrick, pesky middle, smashing into the wing blockers. Russell changing up the speed of that that serve it's it's rare you see kind of just an easy top spin ball go out of bounds oh yes good serve free ball for the USA Good run by the USA. An opportunity there with Engapet still in the crowd, waiting, walking his way back on the court. But they were able to run the middle and have that one block in front of them. He was, maybe he was just trying to think, yeah, come on, I'm not here, I'm not here. Go on, set yeah. wide, and I'll, I'll jump in. Well, there's always that chance, too. <laughs> Chinonese's trying to get in on the act. Oh, what an up! Oh, but it won't come back. Massive hit through the middle from Jendrick. Christensen getting the crowd on side. It's 5-3 to the USA. Gerbenikov standing in there, takes this dig. A little chicken wing, but uh, they're unable to, to make that play. It's a good, good effort by the foot. Sam really trying to kick save. Falco once again. Lovely pass, but great covering. Oh, good up! No carry in the set, and still it doesn't come back. Oh, and when it does, oh, oh, oh. Well, hopefully they're all right. There's a crash between Russell and uh, Shoji, but it's France who take the point. What a rally ringing out around the Unipol here. See, Christensen tries to pull his hands. Oh, he does pull his hands, and Jendrick, that hits the right hand of Jenrick. There's, the, there's the, the crumble. High flat swing, he knows it's coming. These two just crash right into each other. Take Jendrick. 
one hasn't landed in for De Falco, but he'll uh, buy a little bit of time as he slides across the court. Cleaned up. Going hard down that line. It's there, it's available for him. He sees that Angapet drops into that angle and he tries to hit it. So Brizard will go back to serve. Let's see if he mixes it up. It was a short one earlier that gender passes, passed. Easy one for Shochi. And that pipe is just working so well at the moment. And even with Enkapet in that full bunch, he's in there waiting to maybe help. But again, not in there soon enough. Middle blocker jumps. Russell out of the back row. Good up. Good chase by Clivino. Oh, it's, the blocks are doing so much work. Getting touches, USA shutting that one out and moving in front. Just working it. He jacked it up to another level. Another gear here. And this block controlled over the net. It's exactly what Furbringer talked about. No floating around, just be controlled, and we're going to get some blocks and play defense. This is, this is going to be, I think, the closest set yeah. by the looks of things right now. Our friends playing better, passing the ball well, getting those one-on-ones. They didn't have a lot of those in the last set at all. So both teams are doing this, handling the ball well. Yeah, it's going to go down to the wire. Set. Oh, cool. And absolutely taken to Spike Town. My goodness. Oh, goodness me. Straight up set, straight down the line. Grabenikov's there getting in position, doesn't even get stopped, still on his heels. 20 kilometers an hour. Ha! Let's see, love it. <laughs> Jendrick. That's well played, no Libro on court for the USA. It's a really smart play, especially with DeFalco, or excuse me, Russell backing up on defense for that hard cross-court shot, shot. You see all three defenders super deep. Very smart play by Clivino. Over the top of the block, but towards the middle of the court. Easy to serve. Well, it caught Muaga Dutia, a little bit funky, but they're still able to get their side out with Russell. He's, he's still kind of laughing about it. Hit him. I don't know. It's off the shoulder. It's kind of funky. There's that high swing by Russell. Again, fast to the pins. Really good connection right now. Just know Patry's going to score. Well, they're trying to get something going. You see Gerbenikov come in there, just jumping up and down after this swing, high off the hands. You know you're going to get it, but they have to win this. They know they need to get this set. Well played, Smith. He's just... joining the Banks party. <laughs> he was just hanging in the air. Seeing where Lagoff is, drifts past it. Yep, hanging in the air, spiking it, but he just doesn't care. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yes. That's going to sting. Oh, well, they've given the opportunity back here to France, but Smith says, no, 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 I got this. Don't worry. Uh, they got lucky there, because that was a, a little miscommunication, a missed opportunity there for the USA on that first one. Really good that, that Smith was able to come back and read this play by Legoff. Great commit. It was all going so well for France. Now they've got work to do. USA back in the game. Great read by Moaga Dutia. And now it's going to be net touch, unfortunately. Oh, that, that first play, coming in there and taking on the middle blocker himself, a really good read, because it could have gone to Patri on that first one, and here's that net violation right at the end of the play. Play on. Brilliant. Just all, oh, just play this one off my face. <laughs> Kept it going. Falco read the play very well, saw the block in front of him, didn't do anything too wild. And here's that off the head. Keeps it going. <laughs> back here that one time you were moving a lot and you were kind of thinking about this shot here or something but right now they're having some success doing that so you can actually probably get off the line or you can be online but just be ready for that i think that's what we see if it happens to go here and here you're going to go here trust trust the speed do here is the question. Right now they don't seem to have an answer. Well, if they can handle the ball again and get their offense clicking, get Ingepet involved, it can't just be Petri. Right now it's all Petri. It looked good. He's trying everything, but can't find a way through. Kanan Gapet. Good up by Grabenikov. And in the end, Kalevano steps in. Nice transition game by France. Getting something else going. Kalevano has been effective out of the back row. I haven't seen a ton of that in the last set and a half. They can get him going again. He's always ready on that first step. A good tempo set by France. from the golf. They tried to take something off at the last time around and hit that one deep and then hit that one into the net. I don't know, he's trying to just mix up his shots a little bit. Nowhere for 
Wenger Pet to go. Still nowhere for him to go. <laughs> oh, what a play, Christensen. Oh, we have to see that. Now you see them. Now you don't. And you knew that something weird was going to happen here. And at the end, look at them slack hands. They know it. Great sporting <laughs> spirit. Brilliant. Gotta love it. Wicked swerve on that one. And we've got a net touch against Christensen. But the USA are, are really pumped for this, just like France were in the first two sets. I guess that they're serving a lot tougher. I, I'm really looking forward, actually, to seeing those perf that graphic with the perfect pass numbers to see where, where we are at this point in the match. I think Unrealsville is somewhere where we're at the moment. Ooh. As far as the USA are concerned. And having, having that play up, the, up, your, uh, up your sleeve for oh. John Scarrage. You know what? Let's, uh, I, think, yeah, I think we'll go the old it's, defunct kind of opposite. <laughs> Let's do that. Ferber goes going. Are you sure? Are you sure? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, sorry, who? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, what? <laughs> Just trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, coach, I haven't got a staff for that. <laughs> comes, but it's a good save by Grigenikov. And at last, Engelbert finds a way through. A little petulant swing of the arm afterwards. And give that to Grigenikov again, just getting in there for that pipe attack that could have gone down, but such a great defender, always in there, always in the play. And here's the one Engelbert was looking for, just throws it off the hands. It's hard to serve. Patri Shinanesi and Inga Pet in the front row. It's a very good serve. Oh, that one's gone uh, out of the chip. Yep. Sometimes they get away from you. <laughs> he launched it. I think it rose at the end. Caught a thermal, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, that one's out of here. But still, Spiral applauding what's going on. But France just creeping back in. As we suspected, this one very, very close. Oh, good art, but it won't stay in. Jendrick's up and he's swinging away that was over the top I mean, that's not easy to do against all of these physical middle blockers for another middle to go over top that's huge perfect pass here look at that Jimmy Nazi's just on the ground a little too long put that right onto Grabenikov oh no Oh my goodness. Well, you don't need an invitation to play the ball. Not sure what Russell was waiting for. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, I'm not sure if he thought Tafoko might come in out of the I'm not Yeah, I don't know. Well, somebody else. Who obviously made the first move, he didn't did. he? He did, but he's middle back. I mean, really. Yeah, that's tough. You gotta put that one past you. But a nice, a nice tip in the middle of the court. That's been scoring against the USA, either towards the left side of the court or right the, over the top in the middle by France. Oh, oh yes. I think what's happening, I'm just looking at that then, all right, so Christensen's off there, but uh, Russell's just taking it a, a little bit longer. He's not going too quickly, and he's able to do what he wants with the ball now. Yeah, I, it's the, the tempo of the set. He's watching the set come out of the setter's hand and then making his approach. Well, that was some hit. Yeah. That wasn't. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. To the bench, Jeffrey.
Shoji's in. It'll be Chimanezi to serve. Geoffroy's actually come into the front row here for France. A good leave. I'm not sure they would be able to get anywhere near it had it landed in. Both teams is going after it here. They know they have to ramp up the service pressure. That's a perfect pass, and Smith is set free. Pass Joffrey. Great choice by Christensen. Joffrey having only just come on court. Just come on court. Getting ready to see it. That's a big swing and gather when he's jumping right now. There's, you're never going to be able to block a middle attack when your arms are swinging and you're trying to reach over the net at the last minute. This is going to go right down. If we, have, if we don't have 24 all, I'll be surprised. I, I agree. I mean, they've been getting after it here, point for point. Good leave. See, I think it might be in. Well, the changes keep coming for France. We have a look at this one. No, it isn't in, but Boyer has come on. That was just out. And Tonuti's come on, the double substitution to just keep some uh, attackers in the front row here. We'll keep an eye on Boyer. I mean, he's a high flying jumper, can score a lot of quick points for France. Well played, and Capet quickly out wide. Nice speed to the antenna, really fast set. France getting getting that offense going, they can't let two blockers get right in front of them. Good pass to get things going. Still though, the USA have the lead, they're siding out to go two in front. Oh, good pick up. Well up by Shoji. Oh, it's going to come back. But free ball for the USA. Wow. I don't believe, I don't believe it. Oh, oh, oh I don't believe that either. Goodness me. Wow, well, it started with a block switch. Ingepet was blocking on the right side of the court. The US saw that and wanted to get the ball over there. There's Boyer on the left. At a top, look at that defense. Are you kidding me? Keeping the ball alive, beautiful defense. And what a tough missed opportunity on the side of, of France to finish. Yeah, this wasn't really what uh... Boyer wanted, but the USA are loving it. And they're back to two in front. Massive serve from DeFalco. And there is nowhere for Engapet to go. The USA now open up a decent lead. He was trying to hit up into this block. It's so hard. It's Coming from behind you, you cannot see the block in front of you when the ball's coming from that angle. Just trying to hit it as hard as he can. Solo quello. Attenzione solo se ci fa una battutina corta. Buona battuta, i lavori sulle mani. Volta l'attacco, come vado ad attaccare la palla. Come faccio un secondo tocco di palla alta che deve essere vicina, non lontano. Incredible game of volleyball. 
A brilliant turnaround so far by the USA after losing the first two sets. Taking the third, they're up here in the fourth. Are we going to go to five? DeFalco to serve again. Clever just gets it in. Boyer gets slowed down. Oh, oh. pick up Shoji. I have no I didn't know he had that angle. I didn't know that existed. Oh my goodness. This is next level. That is phenomenal from Wagner to see it. She can't believe it. We can't believe it. <laughs> The double change has been reversed. Patry's back in, Bizard's back in. And that's... No, oh, that's... Gone. Back. Miles away. Rizard to serve. Not by Jendrick. Oh, Rizard somehow gets to that. Oh, I don't believe that. Oh, my goodness, Soji's there. And he's like, oh, oh. The pancake, I wasn't sure if that was going to be up and cleanly up. Let's take a look at it one more time. Oh, that's full up. Hangapet was looking for this swing the last time. Found it. One person reaching to the line, the other one reaching in the cross. Hello. What are we going to see next? We have been royally entertained here, that's for sure, in this gold medal match. We're looking like they were going to get this done three nothing. It's now looking like we're going to go to five. Rizard with the serve. What a pick up, Grabenikov. But that doesn't come through. Engapet can't believe it. I thought that had gone down USA side for a moment. <laughs> well, he he has the ability to do that when he tips and throws through the block. He's look at Grabenikov again. They're leaving that line, and he's there, just there to dig it. But this is a play that he normally can just sneak through, get between the block and the net, but not that time. They completely smother the, the ball. Well played, Jendrick. Brizard could do nothing except point for the USA. There it is again. Brizard knows he can't go up. He's going to get his fingers hurt. Jendrick just cleans it up. Side out achieved, but three chances for the USA to send this game into the tiebreaker. I saw Christensen was really bunched in, either for the middle or back row attack. Had to chase that one to the outside, and Cleveno was able to get that ball. Well, he went for it, Pet. Now he's going to have to go to the bench with the rest of the team. The set's gone the way of the USA. 25-21. And now it's the race of 15 to see who will take gold here at the Men's Volleyball Nations League 2022. What an incredible final.
What are we watching? I don't know. I don't know what we're watching. An incredible volleyball match that is just swinging from one direction to the next. So this is going to be a matter of matchups, serving, and really handling the ball. I mean, it's such a fast set that it's going to come down quickly. And both teams actually for a while there were serving very well and able to get their up offense going 14 to 12 and that way it was very tight on and on but USA stepped up with the blocking that was a big difference the block defense and then their transition game and this really can go either way right now the USA certainly has the momentum but France didn't die they didn't just disappear certainly in that set well one thing's for sure Gianni's got some of his work cut out for him. The, thing, the main thing as well is the passing unit for the USA was it was a different beast altogether. They were dealing with everything. It changed, it changed everything. I mean, that's what happens when you can control the ball. France started off missing a couple of serves, maybe questioning. He saw some uncharacteristic misses, roll shots into the net, roll shots deep out of bounds. And then the USA was just able to control it and run their offense. But it was really the fast offense to the outside that got the USA going. A lot of quick sets to, to Russell opening up the rest of the offense. Well, for those of you we're uh, trying to work out which way this one might go. I'm sure there are a few sweepstakes going on around various clubs around the world with all your club mates as to who's going to take this one. And for those of you who said it was going to go to five, well, well done you. But it's still not over yet. It's not over yet. Vital was wishing for a five-setter. Hey, yeah, he's been there. He's been looking back at us every now and again. He's like, I don't believe it. I was going to five and I'm not on the mic. <laughs> Everybody's on their feet right now. The music is pumping. Both teams getting hyped to get back on the court. And it is a race to the finish. It's fast and furious, and one team will be furious by the time this is done. Jendrick, well, nine points. Do you know what we can go to about the nine points this time? But it's, it's the manner in which the team has come together and just done what they've needed to do. And the, the way they've been able to shut this man down, yeah, Engapet. He was rolling in the first two sets, really doing whatever he wanted. And now even the small little tricks and throws that he normally does, they're handling very well. We'll see if he can step back up. But really, this this new lineup and, and to be able to play well within it, pass next to different people, different responsibilities on defense, just slightly different. Uh, and that's huge for the USA, and it's been Quite a challenge for France. Yes, those, those parlor tricks have been no match for Jedi Jendrick, that's for sure. But this is it now. I mean, this is a real test now. Here we go. Set number five. USA with the serve. Gold medal on the line. Shoji straight in there. Well played, Russell. Oh, get out of the way, Smith. Well done. And that's in. That's incredible. Smith's like, oh, I gotta get out. <laughs> Go somewhere. The deep tip down the line. How smart is Aaron Russell? Sees it. Knows the defense is crashing underneath the block. Clipping out deep in the middle back. That's <laughs> perfect. Christensen will serve again. Drabenikov under pressure. Enga Pet! Oh, there was no parlor trick, was it? That was just hammered away cross court. Heating up. Enga Pat going hard into that angle. Sharp. Now you see Russell coming in for that tip. He was back before on defense. Now he's crashing underneath the block, leaving some of that angle open. And so you can't play all the way inside the 10 foot line to the end line. Well, Geoffroy's kept his place on court for France for this fifth set. That's not landed in. France think it is, so they want to have a look. It's early, I don't know. Ooh. I guess. Well, I don't know. 
we'll find out in Hawkeye and Tennis. It's OK. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why we even go on and on about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I'm in. What do you think? <laughs> oh, he's out. I don't know. This has just been a brilliant game to finish out the Volleyball Nations League for 2022. We still don't know who's going to win yet. That is just out. Oh, I can see why they would want to challenge. Certainly from a, on that side of the court, they would look in. Russell now with the ball. USA has been going a little bit harder after Angapet. Probably certainly go on those teams, but trying to make them work. It's uh, not working. Risa. Oh, yes, great serve, Risa. Russell could not get round quick enough for that. Rizard has such an effective serve, one of the best servers on the squad. It's that one outside of his body and catches Russell on the right. That's a huge point. Tries the other line, but Mwaga Dutia puts in a perfect pass. But unfortunately, Russell's got a little bit cramped up on that one. Had no block, had an opportunity in here. We'll see what, what happened. Looked like the set. He just couldn't get on top of it. Couldn't get his arm up fast enough and clip that one out of bounds. Cool by the USA. All right, more opportunities to come. Yep. Pass that ball. Pass that ball. Take care of the rest. Okay. Yep. Hey, only one timeout. Only one timeout in this set. So here we go. Let's now let's get side out. Make them take a timeout. That's the goal right here, huh? Okay. Whatever will be, it will be, that's for sure. But who is going to be the champion? France just edging in front. Talk about saving it all till the end. Wow. And moving it around. Gets Russell on one. Goes out to Morocco to Tio, who handles the next one. Aces him on this one. Wow. What a block, Edgar Pitt! Has just got the one on one. And the referees just oh, like, guys, 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 get back. We're not having any of that. Everybody go back to where you came from. But wow, Engapet drops in, spread block. One hand takes the line, one hand takes the cross court. <laughs> you two off. <laughs> serve and a point for Engapet and they're flying now the France. fans are up and shouting again they are rolling this is exactly what they did early on tough serving forcing these overpasses Engapet sees Smith hits that just a right hand he didn't line up perfectly but they are fired up right now some fresh legs on court for the USA Mitchell Stahl has come in The tough one. Oh, it's just as cool and as calm as you like from Wagatia. And you saw the block pull their hands. Patrick pulls his hands, so you think, oh no, he might hit this one out of bounds, but really good presence. Well, and the, the substitution's been changed straight back again. Yeah. Stahl's not, not hit a ball all match. No. Smith's come back on to serve.
a good serve, but well handled by Grabenikov. And once again, Chinanese finds a way through. And France with a really nice little bit of a lead, nice cushion here, but there's that ball off the net, but it's the flight of the ball. The ball's passed up and down, so he can get directly underneath it and run his entire offense. This has his heel off the floor. Uh, his piece of routine is always exactly the same, Inga Pep. And not always the same outcome. Really good pass. Really good block for the USA. An interesting decision. Klibano passes his ball. He's on the ground. And they still set him a pretty fast tempo ball. Now he can get up, but the block had time to get set. Not sure. But that was the best possible decision at that time. Oh, this is such a good read from Christensen. Falco's not had an ace yet in this game. He had six in the semis. Anger Pet. Oh, yes. The swagger as he comes under the net. He was in no rush to go back. No, no, never is. He's never in a rush. Really nice play again. That back row attack. You watch him come underneath the net on the finish. Chendrick trying to make a move. Oh, a little <laughs> wink. Oh, man. <laughs> There's some great rivalries out there on the court. We're witnessing some great volleyball. Well played to Falco, finds a way through. That's a tough swing, when the, especially when the block is coming at you, to hit, still hit that ball hard into the angle. See, the middle blocker just shows up with golf, but it goes right through his hands. They play Patry. They're holding on here, France. Patry, again, we always say it, when you need a point, you want to count on getting a point. You can go to Patry. Listed high by Nwagatutia and by Christensen. And then brilliant by Russell off the block and away. So good. And Kapet was pretty deep, but just not quite deep enough. Russell seeing those hands. Goes as high and flat as he can. They, they can't run that one down. <laughs> Russell was there, but he wasn't there quickly enough. And Brizal with just a little glance back at him. Uh, you're waiting for those. You had one earlier. Brizal always knows where the block is. But look, Russell's pinched all the way in, ready for it. A little bit late. Beautiful dump by Brizard. That was a, a horrible serve to have to deal with. But then Russell tidies it up with that swing through the outside. That like cleans up so much out there. Russell's so smart. Handling this pass, has to make his move all the way to the outside, get a big approach, and still see the block at the same time. Pretty impressive. Christensen. Oh, 
brilliant. What a really good swing that is from Russell into the corner. The fans going crazy. <laughs> We're going crazy as well, to be fair. This level of volleyball is just phenomenal. It was the block touch that started it on the quick attack, getting the transition ball for Russell. Just two points in it. That's not caught anyone. Yes, it has. Oh, no, it hasn't. Yes. Yeah, it has. <laughs> 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 no, no, and then yeah. Falco pipes up. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Well spotted by the referee. And it's another one of those Zenka Pets just hanging in the air. Watch this. He hangs, waits, sees it, catches it on the way out, knows he has it as soon as he hits the ball. There's that pinky. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle with that little pinky, that's for sure. So now, three away, France, three in front. Chiffroy on to serve. Oh, what a serve. Wow. A serve by Quinton Jafoy. Huge serve at the right time. What? Straight down the middle of the court. Not a lot of spin on it. Just a little bit of interesting movement to catch Soji on his right. Not catching anybody with that one. Change for the USA. We're going to tee it off. And Russell on. He'll go and block over at two, probably. DeFalco will go over to four. And we'll see. We'll see if they stay or if they switch, because that'll, that'll play into what happens on the other side. Oh, well, they were going to switch. And I think that means uh, Russell's back off again. That didn't quite work. But look at this now. It's championship point here for France. The fans are on their feet. Good ball in. But it's not happened, and France have done it! They were 2 nothing down, they were pegged back to 2 all, but in the fifth and in the decider, they got it done! And France are the Volleyball Nations League champions for 2022! A massive victory for them and for coach Andre Gianni. What a game! Unbelievable volleyball match, watching these two teams go at it. So many back and forth, ups and downs. It was a crazy match, but really France in complete control early on in that fifth set. They started off strong with their serving, came in, went after it, and it was too much of a gap to catch up for the USA in the end. Well, massive kudos to jo coach uh, John Sparrow for making the change he did and putting uh, DeFalco into the opposite slot. It almost worked, but it's the can-can, can-do for France in the end, taking it 3-2. Well, they were pushed all the way by the USA. How would you sum that one up? Serve pass. I mean, it, it started that, that way. That's how it was for France, the first two sets, and then for USA in the second two sets. And France, again, turned it up a notch. Their serving was so good. Aces, 